So welcome here in Monitor World. This is where all the band's monitor mixes are generated from. Central to this world is the Soundcraft VI3000 console. So again, we're using all the inputs on here, all 96. We're using pretty much all the mixes again because we're doing not only the band's monitor mixes, we're doing some utility mixes for comms and down mixing. We're also doing some backup mixes for front of house as well. Redundancy is really important to us. We'll talk about more of that in a second. So all of the lines come in through two Soundcraft stage boxes. There's one up here, upstage left, and there's one downstage left in the RF and backline world. It comes over MADI fiber, and they all end up in this direct out MADI matrix. The MADI matrix is great because we can pick off any channels in any direction from our keyboards, from our consoles, from the stage boxes, for recording playback or in the live show itself. We also have our keyboard computers here. The band leaders playing the keyboards can control the computers via a network KVM. And they also have MIDI control from there that comes here through our iConnectivity MIO devices. Over here in the wireless rack, we have the Sennheiser 6000 series uh, wireless microphone receivers. Uh, these things are great. They're digital, so there's no companioning. They sound fantastic. Uh, but they also really answered uh, the, the issue of latency. A lot of other wireless microphone systems that are digital nowadays have a lot of latency in them. And these guys really brought it down to something absolutely negligible. Uh, and on this side, we have a couple of compressors for the vocalists on the heads up microphones to get a bit of control. We've got a TC Electronic 6000 reverb system. All of our comms, we have 24 channels of wireless comms. It's ClearCom FreeSpeak 2 we have throughout the venue. We have our SSL units that's converting the AES to fiber so we can get it in our many matrix for the wireless microphones. And finally, our Antelope Orion 32. That's taking all the mixes from front of house and all the mixes from monitors. And if we ever have an issue, we can reroute the mixes from front of house into the band's in-ears or vice versa. If we have an issue with the front of house console, we have a front of house mix output from the monitor console that we can put through the PA. So the show never ends. So now we're here in the drum and percussion pit. Uh, this is where Alex the drummer is playing his electric kit, but he's also playing a lot of percussion instruments during the show. Uh, these are probably the most lively instruments you'll hear acoustically throughout the house, but we do need to reinforce them. So we have a number of microphones here. Uh, on the congas here, we have the Sennheiser E906s. Uh, we have a E604 here. We have a Neumann KM184 doing some of the overhead percussion. And finally, we have a Sennheiser MKH40. Now, what's great about all these microphones is that they all sound fantastic. They're super durable. They handle really high SPL, including the KM184. And the best thing about this setup here is that once the show is ended and at the end of the week, we split the drums and percussion into two sections. We put a lid over the top and then the mics stay completely set up and plugged in till the next city. We lift the lid off, plug it back in and we're ready to go. So it's a really seamless setup. Uh, they're super durable microphones and uh, we never have any issues with them. The microphones blend really well with the electric kit. It's got some great sounds inside the Roland V drums and the, the percussion in the show really accents it. Sometimes Alex plays some percussion for any of the uh, acrobatic hits and, and numbers on stage. He's really vigilant about uh, playing all of these things. And so you get to hear a lot of different sounds you might not normally hear if it was just a drum kit. As you can see here, the drum kit is really close to the audience. Now, thankfully, because they're rolling V-drums, they're really silent. You won't hear a hi-hat and a snare smashing the first row. Uh, but obviously, our percussion is acoustic, and that adds a really nice tone to the show. So we, we still reinforce these, and that helps blend in really well with the sounds of the V-drums. And the amount of percussion used is really quite impressive. So you, rather than just hearing a show with a drum kit, you're actually hearing lots of different world instruments as well. So we're down here now in the RF world. This is where our RF technician is monitoring all the wireless microphones, the in-ears, and also listening to all the artists' concerns during the show. It's also where the frequency coordination is done at the top of every week because we move every week, we're in a different city. So we have a computer here that's monitoring WSM, uh, the Sennheiser software. Uh, we can see all the RF status on the packs as well as the audio. We can see the battery status on stage as well as the batteries that we actually have charging as well because it's a network charger. The batteries are fantastic. We have a lot of time on them. We can do a whole sound check preset and we generally have about two hours left at the end of every single show. The monitoring they use here, they have a FreeSpeak 2 belt pack and a comms he uh, headset and the, there's a down mix here on a Behringer X32. So they can get the program in from the show, all the comms lines, as well as a way to mix and listen to and solo all the wireless microphones and any other units that are around the stage here for the artists. So they can be walking around the stage doing their tasks throughout the show, as well as adhering to all the artists need, whilst also monitoring everything that they have uh, at their disposal. So speaking of the packs, this is one of our Sennheiser 6000 packs here. They're fantastic. Uh, they're really lightweight, no compounding, so they sound great. Uh, and the weight's actually a really big issue on this show because 
This particular microphone and this particular pack are used by one of our Silks artists. Now, she was also the female vocalist, so in that act, she's singing. She might be upside down, doing a drop, and the whole time she has this pack and microphone on her hairline. Uh, it makes it really crystal clear. She has no issues at all with weight and really makes it really, really easy for us.